This is the post on X from Netanyahu. Thank you, Todd, for uh, bringing this to my attention. Let's translate. On my behalf and on behalf of my wife, Sarah, I send my deepest condolences on the death of the mother of the King of Morocco, Muhammad VI Lala Latifa. The people of Israel stand shoulder to shoulder with the king and his family in their grief, and we wish them patience and peace. To Allah we belong, and to him we shall return. So in this, you clearly see Netanyahu is joining the rest of the world leaders in giving his condolences for the death of the king's mother. The king's mother, staunch Muslim, she even has uh, mosques named after her. She did her hajj, everything. She is definitely in Islam in a big way. And he gives his condolences, Netanyahu, and he ends it with, to Allah we belong, and to Him we shall return. No! No! Even if you're not a Christian, you're a Jew. You, you can't do that just to be friendly. You're wishing, you know as a Jew that Allah is not God. You don't serve the same God. Yahweh is not Allah. So you're saying to Allah, you all belong. By saying we belong, by quoting that scripture, you're saying you too. And to him you shall return. Good luck with that. You can't do things like that, people. You can be nice. You can say, I'm really sorry for your mother's loss. It's really sad. Because it is so sad when someone dies in their sin or serving a false god. It is a terrible thing. So yes, we are sad for your loss. We pray that the Lord comforts you. But not Allah. Not to him shall we return. No. I ain't ever going near Allah unless I'm going there to do battle and win. I stand with God and I will only stand with God. I won't wish you anything for your God and you with your God because I wish for you to know Jesus Christ and come to the one and only true God to come out of darkness into his glorious light. So yes, I'm a little bit upset that Netanyahu would do this. And I understand politics and he's being a politician and he's probably not very religious, even though he sometimes give mixed signals to the contrary. And still as a Jew, how do you equate Yahweh with Allah? Come on, man. Get it right. Sure. Mm -mm. Another one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ranting because it really upsets me, this whole thing. I'm just sitting here shaking my head so much. I might be a bobblehead and it might come off. The death of the king of Morocco's mother, right? Rabbi Pinto offered a special prayer for the soul of the deceased and said, May the Holy One, blessed be he, prolong the king and his family's days with goodness and their years with pleasure. May his kingdom be lengthened and may he be given strength and joy. Fine. May the soul of the deceased reach the highest and best place in heaven. No, you're a rabbi. Where's this teaching in the Tanakh or the Torah? Where? Where that all the people with their different God's souls can reach the highest heaven. And may, may the soul of the deceased reach the highest and best place in heaven. What? Stop compromising. Stand up for what you believe in. For once. Speak the truth. It's no wonder the world is in chaos and confusion. Because those who know God are not speaking God into the situations. Crazy. Crazy. He needs Jesus. As much as the king of Morocco's mother needed Jesus. So... My condolences to them and the family, and I'll pray that they have their God moments in time and meet the Lord Jesus Christ and have that revelation and come into his glorious light. Shalom.